After meeting with the bishop earlier on, I went out onto the streets of Manchester with the hope of speaking to people affected by the issue of homelessness. I'm heading into town tonight to check out the soup kitchen and hopefully find some homeless people to speak to. I think it might be a bit tricky tonight to be embarrassed to come on camera. Would you, would you rather be homeless with nowhere to stay and have lots of food so that you live, or would you prefer to have a home and starve to death? We're doing a documentary on homelessness and I just want to ask you a few questions. Yeah, no problem. So, through this year, have you seen like the increase of population of homeless people? Like, have you seen it? Definitely. Like we have more and more people coming here now that aren't homeless, that have been sanctioned, um, that are just struggling to make ends meet and as I said before the amount of people with mental health issues that just want a bit of company or someone to talk to. We're not restricted to homeless people, which is people in need um, and there's a, I said people that are sanctioned, there's a hell of a lot of people being sanctioned, there's people that have, you know, they're, they're just struggling to make ends meet. It, um, and like I said, with the, with the bedroom tax, the, there's so many issues within it all that means that people have got, you know, are living on, on pennies when it comes to it. And, and this is a place they can come and get fed, so at least they can buy some electric. But there are more and more people um, that have places that are coming here. You know, that, that's the numbers that I've found that so much as the, the homeless people, you see, the, the issue is what is homeless. If we have a minus 10 spell in the next week, there won't be one person dying on the street. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be severe. I've queued at these places and I know how it feels and, you know, sometimes it's degrading to have to queue for food in the cold and all that, but unfortunately, if you're hungry, you have to do these sort of things. Back in the um, what, early 90s, there was a lot more places available and, you know, there was, there was a lot more hostels. A lot of them have been closed down now, so there's just no places for them to go anyway, so... You know, even if they wanted to get them out of the cold, there is nowhere. Obviously due to government cutbacks and stuff like that. So it's a lot worse now than what it used to be. But um, there's a lot more good people out there at the moment who are willing to help. I always thought at the time, if I ever found myself in a position where I could help homeless people, I would do. And I found myself in that position, so we set up this uh, food kitchen. Yeah, like you're saying, We'd, we'd rather feed bellies than feed bins or landfill. You know, it's all surplus food. As you probably know, in France now, one or two other places, it's illegal for the supermarkets to dump food. They have to, uh, they have to give it to charity to distribute, which, you know, I think should happen here, like tomorrow. What do you get from um, volunteering? Obviously, it's volunteering. What do you get from it? What do I get from it? Um, personal satisfaction really that I know that I'm helping people that, and um, also distributing this food which can show you what's on the van now if you didn't go to these needy groups it would just go to landfill you know and there's people starving out there so what we've got left now is just like yogurts and just anything really just pizzas because you've got to remember not everyone's homeless here some chicken cheesecake this is for people who like aren't homeless as such, but people who will come in who have a home, but because they've got that home, they can't pay for the food. Yeah, they're still in need, yeah. So, my time, this would actually go to landfill before fair and check. Um, yeah, it, w it was destined for landfill. It's what the supermarkets can't sell, and it's coming towards the end of its date. You know, it's not out of date, but that's actually quite, it's 8th of December. But the supermarkets probably had loads of them and couldn't sell them all. So they give them to fair share and then we distribute them to uh, street kitchens like Mark's or many different ones. So hopefully everyone benefits. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. <laughs>